Alrighty, hello and welcome to Ariella on the Go. Today we are going to be doing a reading vlog of this book, The Lunenburg Wolf. And I'm really excited because this is going to be my first reading vlog. Also, this book looks really fun. It looks very ominous and like creepy. And like, you know, Halloween just finished, so maybe it's a little bit late, but <laughs> it's still going to be fun. So this is like a collection of short stories of like the supernatural kind of things surrounding Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. So that should be a fun read. Let's get into it. pages of the Lunenburg Wolf and so it's not like one story about the Lunenburg Wolf it's a whole bunch of other stories combined um, and it's all put into this little short story collection so it's pretty good um, I'm loving it so far I really like this so um, I just read like the phantom ship and then um the lady in blue and then like a guy that was like cursed by like witches and you know it's all very it's all very cool it's all very good um so yeah that's kind of what the the vibe is so far i still have a lot I've got a lot left it's a pretty small book so you know it's a little short story collection but, um, yeah, so far it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in as like a quick little interruption to just say that I love the writing style in this. Like, it's all so, like... I, I, it's descriptive, but it's also like colorful and like sophisticated. It's really nice and it's really nice to read about. So good, good writing style. <laughs> my new room. I'm in Thailand now. I like Thailand. Thailand is great. Um, 
this is the view. You can't see it, but there will be a clip somewhere in here. And this is, it's not decorated yet. I'm planning on having like a cool background thing where I like put stuff and like, where I like make a collage of my drawings and stuff. So that's gonna happen, but I haven't bought tape yet. So that's fine. So back to reading this. I'm about halfway. I don't know. I haven't been using a bookmark, but you know, it's gonna it's gonna work. It'll 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 be fine. I just have to find where I was. Oh, there it is. So we're reading the next story is The Mark of the Fish, which sounds interesting. Very interesting indeed. And um let's read it. This is it's not decorated yet. I'm planning on having like a cool background thing where I like put stuff and like Where I like make a collage of my drawings and stuff. So that's gonna happen, but I haven't bought tape yet. So that's fine. So back to reading this. I'm about halfway. I don't know. I haven't been using a bookmark, but you know, it's gonna it's gonna work. It'll 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 be fine. Find where I was. Oh, there it is. So we're reading. The next story is The Mark of the Fish, which sounds interesting. Very interesting indeed. And um, let's read it. This short story has a few Bible verses in it, and I really like that. I think it's cute because they're a part of the story, and they, they're a very important part of the story. And then it says the verses, and then it actually has them written out right there. So you have Exodus 20. 16, Matthew 5, 10, and then Matthew 5, 2. I like that. <laughs> and then it has the verses written out. Um, this little, this little thing that I like about it. Okay, so now is the time for the main story, which is the Lunenburg Werewolf. This is, this is the main event, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is the last story. It's also the name of the book, in case you forgot. And it's kind of, it's the last story. Oh, it's not actually. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stories after this. But uh, this is the one that the book is named after. So it should be pretty good. Let's read it.
capacity. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. I wasn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about that. I. I don't know. It's. It's something. So, the Lunenburg werewolf, right? Werewolves are um, people that like turn into wolves. Obviously, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with the mythology or not, but um, the Lunenburg werewolf is Hans Gerhardt, and he's like, he thinks he's the werewolf. Okay, okay, sure. I, I like it. <laughs> I think, I think I liked it. Okay, but. The Lindbergh Werewolf, right? Cool. Good story. But the next one is about the Capstick Bigfoot. And I really like, like, Sasquatch stories. I'm fascinated by, like, the Sasquatch and the Bigfoot and stuff. So, I think this is gonna be very interesting. The next, the next story. <laughs> the Capstick Bigfoot has been described as an eight foot tall, ape like beast with long dangling arms that reach to his kneecaps, a tangle of snow lifted hair, large brown soulful eyes, and a pair of long ears that stick out from his head like open car doors. I, I like how all the stories in this book kind of just like they just they just end you know like the thing with short stories is that like they just end and it's just such a mystery like you don't fully feel satisfied sometimes um I don't know I don't really, I like it because it's like you get just a little bit of like a taste and then it's over. I like it, but it's also just like, it's also just funny. <laughs> um, so the next story is The Ghosts of Oak Island. And this one, this one is interesting. And I'm excited to read this one too because Oak Island is like a really big thing in Atlantic Canada, but not just Atlantic Canada, like globally too, kind of because, um, like there's a TV show on it, The Curse, The Curse of Oak Island, and it's pretty, it's a pretty good show if I do say so myself. Um, and I do, I do like reading about it, so, yay. <laughs> I like the, the did to China saying is really funny. <laughs> My dad said that to me when I was little, when I was at the beach digging for sand castles, I think. He's like, if you dig too far, you're gonna dig to China. I never did. I never made it to China. I did a thing. Can you see it? It's my little, my little wall of just, 
amazingness. Um, it's got books, first and foremost, obviously, because I love books, which you'd never be able to guess. Um, it's got some of the books that I'm currently reading and want to read, and it's got some of my artworks. Artworks, I posted them all on Instagram, most of them, just those. This one, and this one, I posted on my Instagram. Go check them out. You can get a much better picture than whatever I have here. Um, so yeah, this is the, this is the, what is this, part? This is like day three of the reading vlog, I think. I believe so. Anyway, we're having a good bangs day today. I'm very happy with what I did here today with this. This is my new blow dryer. It's very small and you can hold it. I'm very happy about that. Anyways, um, yeah, this is, this is what we're, what we're doing today. Reading vlog part three. Okay, so the place where we last left off was the finds of Caledonia Mills. I don't know where Caledonia Mills is. I don't know what province that is in. It's in Nova Scotia. You learn something new every day. Fun fact, I, I learned about um, streetcars in my city of St. John, New Brunswick, city where I live. I learned that there were streetcars there. Then I showed, I saw a picture of Mill Street and I had no clue where that was. And I still really don't. Um, but you know, it's sad because it used to be like a big street and it used to be like really pretty. And it had like streetcars and it had like shops and like people walking there and whatnot. Um, but now it's the Irving plant of like, I don't know what they make there. Like in that plant specifically, it's probably like paper, I think, perhaps. And it's a parking lot now. Kind of sad, kind of sad. But, you know, urbanization, I guess. What can we do? <laughs> Save the trees or some way they make trees. Does Irving make trees? Irving doesn't make trees, they plant them. You can't make a tree. Or can you? You can make a tree. Plastic one. Christmas trees. They make fake Christmas trees. It's almost Christmas. Anyway. Okay, so there's three ghosts. Ivy is one of them. There's a boy, and then there's Danny, who's apparently Ivy's friend. So there's three ghosts. At oh, white point, not one, but three. Ivy is the one that's most active. Danny's kind of active, and like the boy, he's like a little boy. He's not that active. So like. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any encounters, thankfully. I was there for like three nights. I was more focused on the bunnies. <laughs> Less on the ghosts, more on the bunnies. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, also, the next, the next chapter, I think this is the only one with like a picture. It says, Miss Murray's Five Crying Babies. And that's a picture. I think this is the only one with like an image in the, in the header. Cause I don't, oh, oh, did I? Oh, I did see one. Oh, never mind. I just haven't been paying attention. Get this one. There's also a wolf for the Lindenberg Werewolf one. I'm just, 
I'll cut this out. Like, I'll cut this out. That's fine. Literally all of the characters in this book have the same names. It's funny. I get that it's like, um, you know, it's like a retelling of like classic stories, but a lot of the common names are like Marie, Annie, um, da David, Elizabeth, like I've all read the, the same names before so it's like and sometimes they're like back-to-back -back stories with the same people in them and you're like what like what I thought she was like I thought she was a like what <laughs> it's like a whole thing um but yeah it's funny I guess I guess we have more names now nowadays because not everybody has like a a white people name, you know? <laughs> not everybody has like a, how do you say? English, English name. There are a lot of like names that mean different things in different languages now. So we all have mostly different names nowadays. So yay, <laughs> yay for that. All right, guys, we finished the Lunenburg werewolf. It's all done now. And yeah, so I liked it. I'm going to do my review tomorrow, kind of process my thoughts and um, kind of like plan out what I'm going to say a bit better. Um, because yeah, I just, I just finished it and I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to give it five stars. I'll have to see. You'll have to see. But you, you, for me, it'll be tomorrow. But for you, it'll be like two seconds. Okay, it is the next day and I've processed my thoughts about the book and what I liked about it, what I might have not liked about it, and a whole bunch of stuff. So the overall book review, um, my rating of this book would be five stars. I saw fit to give it nothing less than a big old five stars um why so here's my here's my little notes so i really liked the writing style i thought the writing style was really good i thought it was really cute um it was dramatic but it was like it was very storyteller kind of like um, prose and I really liked it. It was like it was very easy to follow along. I liked that there was kind of facts about each story that there was like um, like a little bit of a history on the story how it kind of originated or how it like came to be and then um just the writing was just really nice it was like really playful and like storyteller -y. it was good i like the writing style um i mentioned that in the in the review well in when i was reading it the first couple pages so liked it um the stories they were all like really interesting to read about like you don't know that much like i guess you don't really realize or at least i never realized like living in atlantic canada just how many like 
myths and legends and stories that like we have like in Atlantic Canada and like this like it put a spotlight on all of all of the area um not just one province not just Nova Scotia not just New Brunswick not just PEI it was all of them and that was really good and I I liked reading about all the stories because like maybe I've heard of them before but like I've never actually like read the story you know um all the stories also just had like this kind of old oldie old time charm I don't know what you call it but it's like this certain you know like old people jokes kind of thing <laughs> not like dad jokes but like old sayings and kind of stuff like maybe where the sayings originated from or whatever just like I don't know how to explain it but it was good <laughs> Um, it was a little bit dark and a little bit gory, but it wasn't like on page gore mostly, okay, mostly it wasn't on page gore. Um, like it's just like implied that like, oh, this person died of a death and then it just like, you know, like yeah <laughs> a lot of things happened that were like on page um but it wasn't that bad because at the end of the day it is a middle grade book and you know children don't need all that <laughs> children don't need all that blood and gore do they no um yeah as i said again they're interesting stories. I like, I loved them all. Okay, I loved, I loved like all of them. Like all of them were good. And I was interested in all of them. And it was good. So as for my favorite one, I think it was, I think it was the capstick bigfoot i think that one was my favorite that one was like when i was going through the table of contents here i was like looking through it and i was like bigfoot like we have bigfoot like in atlantic canada like bigfoot kind of stories and stuff because like you know every region kind of has its own like bigfoot story kind of like whether it's the Yeti or, or the Bigfoot, I thought that it was great that that was in this book because, you know, usually when you think of Bigfoot, you think not Atlantic Canada. Um, but like, this one was good. Page 91. Yeah. Yeah. This one. It was good. I liked that one the best. Um, so that's all my praise for this book. Do I have anything bad to say about it? No. <laughs> I really don't have a single like bad thing to say about this. I enjoy every little bit of it. Um, maybe just like things that like it could have been longer but that's just just read another one of the author's books he's got like he's got like five others so just do that instead of wishing for this one to be longer <laughs> um but i don't know personally i'm not sure that i would have went with the lunenburg werewolf to be the title of this book personally i don't think like i didn't like the lunenburg werewolf story enough to want it to be the book cover if you know what i mean 
but that's just that's just a little personal little nitpicky thing but that's it <laughs> um i highly recommend it if you want if you live in atlantic canada if you want to learn more about atlantic canada i think this is a great way to do it to learn about um you know the myths and legends folklore supernatural kind of thing i i really love reading about this because they're all based on true events and like you know not based on true events but you know all stories start somewhere so unicorns exist dragons exist dragons dragons exist okay guys this is your daily reminder that dragons exist i'm in a dragon mood <laughs> i'm in a dragon mood i want to read fourth wing i don't know if it's gonna, i don't know if it's good i've been hearing very mixed reviews about fourth wing but we're not going to talk about fourth wing we're going to talk about this i like this this is good you should read this you should go over to the nimbus catalog <laughs> right now and you should order this book for yourself or for someone smaller either way this is an all ages read if it's middle grade then it's for all ages and you should read it because i said so follow what Ariel on the go says to you. Yeah. Okay. That's just about it. I hope that you liked watching this video. I'm going to do more reading vlogs because this was fun. And also, I, I just like, I just like vlogging in general, like not in public yet i haven't vlogged in public yet but it might happen it might it might happen we'll see okay i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go and read fourth wing that's that's what i'm gonna do probably or watch a book review on it i don't care <laughs> either one okay uh i'll be back with another reading 